I'm Ellen. Today is Friday, January 28th, 2022. Joining me today is my co-worker Jackson on this lovely Friday. Hey everybody! I hope everyone's having a wonderful Friday and a great week. We have much to share with you today. Now let's take a look at today's birthdays with McKenna and Savannah. back with some birthdays. Let's get to them. On Saturday, Megan King. On Sunday, no birthdays. On Monday, no birthdays. On Tuesday, Lucia B. On Wednesday, there are no birthdays again. On Thursday, Adam C. On Friday, Candy C. On Saturday, Nathan B. On Sunday, there are no birthdays. On Monday, there are no birthdays. On Tuesday, starting February, there are no birthdays. On Wednesday, there are no birthdays. Again. <laughs> On Thursday, there are no birthdays again. On Friday, Noel M. On Saturday, Peyton B. On Sunday, Calvin P. That's all the birthdays for now. I hope you have a good birthday and we'll see you next time. Bye! We hope you all have a great birthday. Now let's hear Sophia and Mercy for languages around the globe. Hola, bonjour, ni hao. Hello, welcome back to Learning Lingo, where we teach you a few different words and a few different languages. And there's something very important we need to address about languages. Why are languages, languages so confusing? confusing? You're right, Sophia. They are very confusing. Here's an example. In English, it's hello. Well, hello in Spanish, it's hola. And in German, it's hello. But you know, the weird thing is, in, in Russian, it's privet. It's, the, it's just so confusing. Yeah, totally. Another one is in English. In English, it's salt. In Latin, it's sal. In Danish, it's salt. But you know, it's salt too much. But in Chinese, it's yen. What? Yen? Where did you forget that? I don't know. Well, that's all for today, Kip Fingers. Hope you didn't confuse it too much. And that's a good thing to think about. You're so right. Well, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao! Ciao. Thank you, Sophia and Marcy, for teaching us those new words. Now here's Chloe and Ella with Kurtz Cougars Drawings. Hey Kurtz Cougars, welcome back to Drawing Some More Kurtz Kids. Today we have a very special guest. Give, Give it up for our Sammy! Sammy will be showing you Kurt's kids the wonderful artwork that he's made. So Sammy, what was your inspiration for this drawing? Well, my inspiration was that I looked at some of the artwork pieces a couple times and thought that I could probably use some of them and create some of my own. That's cool. And one more question. Why do you like your artwork? Um, I like it because um, I created myself and I just don't really think a lot on drawing sometimes. I just let the pencil move and see what happens sometimes. Wow, that's amazing, Sammy. I love your idea. Do you think next time you would have done anything different to this piece of artwork? Um, yeah, probably. I could have done a couple of different patterns on here, but I like the ones I've done. Wow, that is so cool! Until next time, we will see you next time, Kurds Cougars. Have a great day, and remember to be yourself, and nobody is perfect. These are some of the other amazing artists' artwork. Good job, fourth graders! Thank you for spotlighting our kids artists. Now let's look at the weather forecast for next week. Oh, it's me, Austin. And I'm Calvin. Next week's weather forecast looks like we're going to have highs in the mid-30s to the mid-20s. We might have some snow and rain in the middle of the week. We also have a new type of cloud that you probably never heard of before. Momentous clouds. Momentous clouds look like giant white lumps in the sky. However, people who have experienced these clouds have said they give off the appearance that the sky is falling. Unlike most other clouds, they form when the air rises. Momentous clouds 
form when moist air sinks into dry air. Specifically, the air must be cooler than the air around and have large liquid water or ice content. This unique mixture creates a unique cloud bubble-like appearance. In Interestingly, these clouds are usually indication that severe weather may be around. Wait, how do people know what the sky is falling looks like? Kelvin, haven't you ever seen Chicken Little? Anyway. No, I don't think so. We hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Thanks for the weather, guys. Now for a recap on winter recess rules with Jack and Dylan. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm DJ. We are going to remind you of winter rules. Let's get started. I'm going to throw the snow no. at this kid. No. Remember, Jack, snow stays on the ground. Huh? <laughs> oh, hey, Gabe, what's up, man? Hey, right. you want to go to the snowman with me? Yeah. Let's go. Wait. Yes. Wait. Let's go. Wait. Wait. You don't have snow pants on. So? So? So you got to stay on this, um, sidewalk. Oh, okay, let's, 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 let's go find something else. Oh, and here. Gabe. Yeah? Zip up your coat, it's freezing outside. That's that cool. And wear your hat. Or hoodie. Don't forget, one person on a sled at a time and no holding on to other people's sleds. And remember, always be kind to the playground and if someone's lonely, don't be afraid to ask them to play. And always be kind to the lunch ladies that are on the playground. And that is it. We'll see you next time and follow the rules. Don't forget to be safe and kind at recess. Now let's take a look at a new segment called Famous People in History with Avon Romilio. Hey everyone! Hey Romy, do you want to learn about Martin Luther King Jr.? Well Ava, I know that Martin Luther King Jr. was arrested nearly 30 times because he standing up for what he believed was right. That's right, 30 times. Well, I have another cool fact. Did you know that Martin Luther King Jr. had 2,050 people come to his I Have a Dream speech? Oh, well, did you know that Martin Luther King Jr. had four kids? Oh, that is really cool. Well, four kids. Also, Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15th, 1929. Wow, I did not know that. Well, here's another fact about Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was the youngest person at the time to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. And that's oh, all. Bye. bye. Glad we could take a look at the famous people in history. Now let's listen to another commercial about a, a upcoming contest. Okay. Check, question, DJ, answer. Did you know that there you can be a part of Kurt's history by creating the cover of our next year planners? Wow, that's cool. Make sure you have a theme which is new beginnings for the cover and turn it in into the office by 4.30 on February 4th. Why is the theme new beginning? Kurtz is having construction this summer, which includes new things to the new beginning. Make sure to do this on your own and have appropriate word choices and all words have to be spelled correctly. And we're out! out. Well, that's all the news we have for you on this wonderful week. We hope you all had a wonderful week, and hopefully you have a great weekend. Have a good day!